Hi, and welcome to the Realistic Viewer channel. My name is Ivan, and on the channel, we talk about marketing, sales, and self-development. Today, let's talk about the road to 100 subscribers. As of recording, this channel has 109 subscribers. I'll provide a little bit of some tips on how to get to your own 100 subscribers in your own niche. And if you're interested, I'll also provide some links in regards to the videos that I've made to also help you achieve your goals. But more after the intro. Let's start with tip number one, which is imagine the perfect subscriber for your channel and make content based on that subscriber. Nowadays, we have thousands upon thousands different channels on YouTube or the other social medias in general. What you should look at is how to differentiate yourself. So are you going to be an expert? Is your personality different? And what type of topics or interests do your subscribers possibly have? Based on that, make content that is associated with those topics, provide your personality, enjoy the process, and then the subscribers will come. Which actually brings me to tip number two, which is actually don't focus on the subscribers that you have in the beginning. Try and focus your craft, improve your workflow, get the type of content that you want to create out and improve your style on your YouTube channel. So for example, look at the banner, make a video trailer, get some content going so that people that actually get to your channel and are getting interested in the type of topics that you provide, show them that you already are able to make content. So in other words, make a little bit of a library for yourself. And if you're interested, I have a video and I'll link it up here so you can check it out after the video. So the fact that you could also focus on improving your craft means that you're also developing your own style. So for example, if you have a creed in regards to uh, top of the morning, such as uh, Jack Septic Eye uses or uh, the bro fist that uh, PewDiePie does, in that way you create your own style, you differentiate yourself from somebody else that is making the same type of content. And in that way, you develop a small community around your channel, use your humor, use your intellectual uh, communication, your skills, and the only way that you of course differentiate, be yourself. So, next tip, focus on your workflow. Your workflow is actually the way that you start from conception of the video. So you start with the video, you create a script, you plan out the idea and eventually the time that it takes to render, uh, edit the video, upload the video and improve your SEO for your video itself. I have a full playlist in regards to that if you're interested to get you going. And in regards to the workflow, also in the first 10 videos, try to measure how long it takes to make your video and based on that you can then look at all the elements and then select which kind of improvements you can make to improve the overall speed of your video creation. So filming in bulk is also a very good option. And if you're interested in that, I made a full video about how to make content in bulk. Making content in bulk helps to also create consistency, which is also key on YouTube. For example, if you are able to upload every week, every two or three days, then it will also indicate on YouTube that you are creating content on a regular basis. The other thing that you should take care of is check out uh, playlists because creating a playlist 
on YouTube actually focus the same as creating a video. In that way, if you are sorting your videos out based on certain topics, if people are actually looking for a topic and they see your playlist or you use interactive cards, which is also a very good way to get more watch time on your channel. In that way, the person that is already on your channel, the chance that they are watching multiple videos one after another, so a playthrough of a game, for example, or a full documentary on a certain topic and you have a part one, a part two, and a part three. In that way, you create more watch time, you get people interested, and if you engage with them, by asking them to like the video or subscribe, you then achieve the possibility for more subscribers or more reoccurring watchers on your channel that might convert to subscribers. So, working on your workflow, getting your personality out and creating content by optimizing them are the first most important elements, but of course you need promotion. You should consider checking out communities that are interested in the topics that you're creating. So for example, check out a Reddit page, a sub page, or something like a YouTube community for gamers or specifically for your topic that are relevant. In that way, the audience that are already interested in the topics itself might be able to find your videos find your content and in the longer run subscribe to your channel also don't ask people to subscribe to your channel that might not be interested sure you can get your first 10 20 30 people from your actual neighborhood your friends or your family but if they aren't watching your videos it might actually cause your channel to slow down as well because YouTube has indicated in a couple of videos that they've made in the uh, recent past and also through the algorithm that the videos that you are creating are first shown to your subscribers and based on the interaction of your subscribers so they're liking they're leaving a comment leaving a dislike or having long watch time on it based on that your own videos will be shared by YouTube and shown to the more public of course what you should also do is optimize your video, as I said before, make use of great titles, tags, and an interesting thumbnail to get people interested in the video itself. Make sure that the video that you're doing actually provides the information that is relevant to the tags, information, and description box. Get your subscribers engaged, create a little bit of a community, and watch your community grow to that first 100 by doing those steps. The next step would be to interlink all your videos. What is interlinking? Well, it's actually something that I've also talked about in another video. You create a little bit of a view loop for yourself, which means that the actual viewer starts with a video of your content. They're getting interested by providing links cards etc and if you want to learn how to do that as well i'll link it in the description box or up here so you can actually get people that are interested in your topic towards other topics that you've created more videos on get them interested and also if you already have subscribers that want to reach that milestone itself or they are interested in the topics that you create they uh, are then provided with the opportunity to get multiple videos in a row without actually looking for it or clicking through to another video of course watch time for your channel is important and by doing that the chance for more subscribers increases of course so the next tip would be to balance evergreen content and trending content. Evergreen content is topics that are always relevant when a person is interested in that actual topic. So for example, you need to fix your car. Uh, the battery is done, you need to replace the battery. So you create a video with a tutorial on how to remove a battery out of the car and replace it with a new one. Based on that, 
you can create more interest in the longer run as people are looking for that topic and they are really looking to solve a problem that is evergreen content for example so in the in the short term not a lot of people might watch the video but in the longer run you create more views more interest and more interactions on the videos itself then we have trending topics so for example news articles uh, gossip articles etc that type of topics are mostly based on relevant or current events and based on that the current events are attracting a lot of information as the algorithm for example trending is then working in the favor of that content creator but the most important thing for that is you get fast growth in the beginning so a lot of views a lot of likes interactions comments etc and based on that you grow your audience towards a little bit of the evergreen content based on your channel it then depends on what you would like but i would recommend mixing up evergreen content combined with the trending topics so that you get a little bit of some spikes in regards to interest and also a couple of videos that will help people in the longer run to actually get uh, to know your channel get them acquainted with your personality and get them interested in the in the content that you're using as well now the final tip that i would provide is look also for some collaborations look for people that are interested in the same topics as you or might have a link towards the content that you create on a regular basis maybe based on that people discover new content from your channel but also from the other uh, person's channel so you can create more content on the longer run so don't forget this is a process every channel grows at its own speed you might even have 100 subscribers the first week that you start or it may even take months in regards to the content that you create everybody grows at its own pace don't lose hope enjoy the process get better at the process and i'll see you in the next video this is ivan from the realistic viewer channel helping you achieve more.